a lot of the comments that we sometimes get about astronomy is it's a very esoteric science. Um, it's, it's something that a few people do. It doesn't really benefit humanity. I have a couple of things to say about that. Um, one, I think it benefits the humanity by enhancing the spirit, by benefiting the spirit. I have a good friend at the Vatican Observatory. His name is Brother Guy Consomagno, and he served in the Peace Corps for a few years. Um, and he thought when he entered the Peace Corps that he would find that there are a lot of things he should be doing other than science. And one of the remarkable things he found that even in places in this world where, where there's great poverty and people are, you know, having trouble just um, getting the bare necessities of life, there's still this spirit of learning. He, he taught physics in the Peace Corps, and he learned that uh, people, you know, even in places where they couldn't get enough food, they were still interested. They still found it fascinating. I, and, and, and learning about the universe is just a very, very human endeavor. It, it's something that I think helps expand our spirits. Um, but there's also a practical side. Uh, astronomers have been instrumental don't really mean to make a pun there, but they've been instrumental in creating new instruments that help humanity. For example, um, there's a technique in astronomy known as adaptive optics that uses deformable mirrors on telescopes to basically compensate for the way the atmosphere distorts the light from stars coming to us. Now, the stars, they look pretty when they twinkle, but they make them hard to study. So this technique actually has been applied to optical science, um, to retinal imaging. It's been used in ways to improve human vision. Another example are some of the early problems with the Hubble Space Telescope. Uh, the images suffered from astigmatism and all, all sorts of problems early on. And some of the corrective techniques that were used to repair the Hubble actually went into um, making better uh, mammograms. So <laughs> corrections for Hubble actually found applications in better imaging for women's health, um, in, in women's breast health. Um, so th these are a few examples. Oh, gosh, there are many more. Um, you know, there are planetary scientists who study the flow of molten um, materials at the cores of planets that have actually worked with using their techniques with heart surgeons um, and the flow of blood in the human heart. Um, so there's a lot of cross-pollination that goes on. Uh, so we should realize that things that seem esoteric um, very often find really important practical applications here on Earth that can help people out a lot. Um, so science, hopefully it should be inspirational. Um, and we're hoping to work to relieve some of the fear that some people feel about science because um, science itself is kind of neutral. It can be applied either in a good way or in a bad way. Um, and we hope, um, you know, the, the big hope is to apply science in the good way that will benefit not just a few people, not just a few elite people, but the whole world.